Hey, what's up? You know, one of the biggest challenges we've got today as Christians is to make significant connections to the people around us and to a living and loving God. My name is Art Robin, and this is Soul Food. Today we are cooking a dish that I learned to make while on a mission trip to Cuba. I hope our time today nourishes both your body and your soul. Hey, I've got a special friend with me today, Zoe from my youth group at church. Hey, what's are. up? Good to see you. Ready to do some cooking? I'm ready. Let's Sweet. do it. Sweet. Let's do it. Hey, listen, we're going to throw this pork thing together, but before we do that, you know, one of the things that was the key, absolute key ingredient to this dish in Cuba was the scripture that they used, um, and it says, how can they hear unless there's someone to proclaim him? Now, this was at the basis, the bottom, the main ingredient to their their evangelistic work down in Cuba. They figured, how is someone going to hear about the gospel of Jesus Christ, a living and loving God, unless there's somebody there to proclaim that good news to them? I bring those ideas back, I put my own twist on them, and that's the genesis of our dish today. We're making a grilled Cuban pork tenderloin that is succulent and delicious. We're also going to throw down some pan-sauteed Yukon Gold potatoes with caramelized onions. And just because my mom said you've always got to have your green vegetables, mm -hmm. we're going to go with some fresh asparagus with roasted red peppers. It's an easy dish, it's really simple to make, and it's going to be a whole lot of fun to do. Well, we're going to start pretty simply today. We're going to make a really kind of a generic marinade that I make at home all the time. Well, Zoe, you want to help me with this? I'd love to. Sweet. All right, we're going to throw in a little key lime juice. Why don't you pour that in there for me? A um, little granulated onion. We're going to put in a little uh, dried basil. This is awesome. It's sweet. And we use dried basil because if you use the fresh stuff, it's just going to burn when you throw it on the grill. A little soy sauce. We're going to kick it with a little bit of fresh pepper. That's awesome. A little olive oil. I want you to drizzle a little of that in there. We're also going to put a little fresh garlic in here. What we're going to do with this garlic is we're going to take the clove and we're going to give it a big whack. And let's tell you what, this is one great way to relieve stress. <laughs> you give it a big smash like that and you take off the little outer thing. Paper skin, just like that. And just give it a real rough chop. And that is it. This is going to make it savory and delicious. Now it's time for the secret ingredient. And you know what it is? What is it, Art? Maple syrup. Wow. I know, it's crazy. You know, I've actually heard of people using maple syrup on pre breakfast food. I don't know what they're thinking about. <laughs> all right, if you want to grab a whisk over there and start throwing all that together, that'd be great. Now, this marinade can be used for anything. If you don't like maple syrup, you can use brown sugar. You can use honey. Um, you could use just about anything. You could take out the lime juice and throw in a little toasted sesame oil, and all of a sudden, you've got an Asian marinade for doing seafood, tuna, chicken, fish, whatever. But you know, the nice thing about it too is that because it's got the lime juice and the soy sauce, the acidity in those things actually breaks down the proteins in the meat and makes it more tender. So it's also a tenderizer as well as a marinade. And because of that, we want to leave it, the pork in the marinade only about 30 to 45 minutes, otherwise it just gets kind of funky. And if you want more information about the recipes, you can always go to our website, mysoulfood.tv, grab some recipes, download some devotional stuff and some scripture stuff. How's it smell? Smells delicious. Awesome, awesome. You want to drink it? Um, I'm sure it's going to be great on the marinade. Oh, okay. Well, what I do want to do is uh, rinse off my hands a little bit here. We don't want to cross-contaminate. That's kind of important. Now, here's what we're going to do to prep this pork. As you see, it's a beautiful pork tenderloin. Now, there's a couple things you can do with this. You can cut it into medallions and pound it out thin. But the way we actually did it down in Cuba was a little bit different. We actually are going to take our paring knife, and we're going to take off this silver skin, these things right here. This is kind of a, a membrane that's on the outside of the tenderloin that we don't want to eat. It's kind of stringy and chewy, and after it's cooked, about the only thing it's good for is dental floss. And frankly, you don't really want to do that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take about as much of this off as we can, just like that. Now the next thing, what, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our bigger knife and we're going to butterfly this. What that means is to cut it and open it up like a book. Let me show you how that works. We're going to come in like this, be very careful. You need a very sharp knife to do this, and you want to cut it 
through, but not all the way through. So it's opened up like this and you lay it nice and flat. See how that looks? Isn't that beautiful? And now you've got all the great meat there. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take it and put it between a couple pieces of plastic wrap and pound it out super thin.